All right, guys, I'm going to tell you the story of Llama Land. I know this hasn't been told very often at camp, but you're here to find out, right? Okay. So first, does everyone know what a llama is? It's like kind of like a mix of a giraffe and a goat. So it's like a smaller giraffe, like still a weird neck, but it's like furry. It's like an alpaca, but nicer than an alpaca, bigger than an alpaca. Use the internet if you don't know. But I bet what you won't find when you Google this at home is that ancient llamas, so like llamas in like 700 BC, used to be able to swim. And that's really important to our story because Llama Land is an island. So I bet what you also won't find is that Minnesota <laughs> used to have the number one llama population in all of the United States. So that brings us to our story. So back in ancient times, the llamas were running all over Minnesota and they were having a really good time, you know, but they felt like really out of touch with each other. Like they hadn't caught up in a while. They hadn't seen their friends. You know, it's hard because Minnesota is a really big state. So they decided, you know, llamas communicate, like they can hear really well. So basically a llama can just like say something and a llama like 20 miles away will hear it just because they have super good hearing. So it's kind of like being on a walkie talkie all the time. So, you know, the llamas are like talking back and forth to each other and they're like, we should get together every night. So what they decided was that they would all come to Lake Kingsley and they would swim across the lake and they would come to Llama Land. At the time, it was just kind of this island. They would come to Llama Land and they would all have a party. So do you guys, have you ever had a block party in your neighborhood? Like you have a big potluck and you guys meet out on your streets, like someone, someone brings popcorn, someone brings pasta salad. There's always like fresh fruit. That was my favorite. There's uh, pulled pork and brownie bites and chocolate chip cookies and things like that. So the llamas would have big parties like that just here. So the llamas would come from all over Minnesota. They'd come from Mankato. They'd come from Bemidji. They had come from literally everywhere to Lake Kingsley. So the llamas would come with their crock pots and they would come with their dance moves and they would come to this island and have a really good time. So what they loved to do was dance and llamas were so good at it. And they would like, you know, they'd be breaking out their dance moves and llamas would be mixing with each other. So there were like banker llamas, there were policemen llamas, there were llamas who worked as mechanics, there were stay at home mama llamas. They were all here and they were all having a really good time catching up and getting to know each other a little bit better. In fact, this place was so awesome and so inspiring that have you guys heard of Willama Shakespeare? You might read some of his plays in high school. So, but his play, A Midsummer Night Llama, was inspired by this island. Super awesome. So, llamas are having a good time in the ancient times. But then, the medieval llamas, something happened to them. Around 1573, something came. Have you guys ever heard of vampires? They're like related to Dracula. I'm pretty sure he's like the dad of all vampires. So, vampires arrived in Minnesota in 1573. And the vampires, really wanted to like you know recruit more vampires and they were like hey I hear there's a really big llama population here let's get some vampire llamas and so you know because those llamas have that really good hearing they heard it the second that the vampires came into Minnesota and they're like oh man this isn't okay this isn't okay at all and so they came up with a plan so a couple of days later the vampires showed up on llama land and the llamas were like okay vampires you don't even have to say anything we know what you want we know that you want us to become vampire llamas, but we're not okay with that. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to have a dance off. And if we win, you guys have to leave Minnesota and never, ever come back. And if we lose, then, okay, then we'll be llama vampires, but we're pretty confident in our dancing abilities. So the vampires are like, okay, okay, fair deal, fair deal. We're pretty good at dancing too. So they all got into their little team huddles and the llamas got together and they're like, okay, okay, we can do this. We got this. No big deal. We, we dance all the time. We can do it. So they all broke out of their circle and one llama started beatboxing. Like, and all the other llamas started to open their llama mouths and they sung a song that you guys might know from camp. And it goes like this. Happy llama, sad llama, totally rad llama, super llama, drama llama, big fat mama llama, baby llama, crazy llama, don't forget Barack llama, fish, fish, more fish, turtle, uh, you don't get back. And they all landed like, woo, jazz hands. And the vampires were like, that was really good. I don't know how we're gonna top that. So they went back to the little vampire huddle and they're like, okay. Then they all broke out just like the llamas did. 
but instead of singing one song all together, they all sang different songs. Like one person sang Bleeding Love, another one sang Blood on the Tracks, another one was singing Live and Let Die, and like, it was a hot mess. So, the llamas were like, hey, vampires, like, clearly we won that one. And the vampire's like, yeah, you're right. So, and they're like, all right, a deal's a deal. So the vampires left Llama Land, left Lake Kingsley, left Camp Streetland, left the whole state of Minnesota, and have not been back since 1573. So, flash forward to present times, the llamas kept doing their thing, present day llamas still party. They have a great time out here. They come here every night, except for when there are campers here. They don't really like to be around, because they want to make sure campers have a good time, do their own thing. But yeah, the llamas like to be here as often as they can, catch up with each other, and have a good time.